How you doing? Welcome to another episode of Token with Tommy. It's your boy Tommy Tokes. And today, we're going to jump in to this nice little Jeter promo pre-roll. Now, this guy is going to be Mango Sherbert. A little half Grammy. They sell these in a little five-pack. Normally goes for about 52 bucks. But let's jump right into it. Now, Mango Sherbert is going to be on the Indica side. Uh, this guy is going to test around 40% THC. So it's going to be infused with live resin. And have the keef on there. Nice little seal on top. <clears throat> Smells really, really good. Let's take a look there. Now, Jeter, they use these really nice rice papers to ensure that they burn evenly. Um, it's a really nice feature that they have there. Now, I'm not too sure. I hear a lot of mixed stuff out there. Maybe somebody who works for Jeter who watches this can let me know. But I do not believe you guys use premium flour. I was always told that it's pretty much shake. Um, I know in California, they use liquid diamonds instead of live resin um, with the keef. But let's jump into it and see what you're working with here. I know some of these, like the other brand, Stizzy, um, as soon as you like this shit, the fucking hell, they have so much oil on it, the thing just, it's like, it's like fucking lighting a candle and shit. Yeah, I like that, look at that nice little even distribution on the burn. Wow, got a really good first taste to it. My only concern is, am I smoking a science project? I don't know, but... Good draw, good pull. I mean, every one of these I've ever smoked burn evenly. They burn nice. But yeah, I mean, tastes really good. <coughs> Hands down, tastes really good. That's one thing you cannot argue. You know, no matter what the fuck they're doing here, this shit tastes fucking delicious. I mean, it literally tastes mango. How they make it taste like mango, that's the mystery. Is it <coughs> cannabis-derived terpenes that make it taste like this? I don't know. A lot of questions to be uh, answered here. If anybody has those answers, please drop a comment. Because I asked a lot of questions, and I get a lot of mixed answers from different people and experts in the industry and vendors and all this other shit. And, you know, one thing with Jeter, they got phenomenal, probably one of the best in the industry. Their marketing is top notch. I mean, they're they're out there. I mean, they're everywhere. They got really good fucking marketing with all their vendors. Their vendors are always upbeat, great swag and all that other shit. But yeah, this shit, shit hits. It's just good. I feel high already. But um, I don't know. It's kind of a mixed one. It's like one of those where... You know, you want to try to keep shit as natural as possible. And something is telling me that this shit is not natural. And I know some other ones, like uh, these guys, like Leafers. Um, shout out to them. I know the MPX Diamond Rolls. <clears throat> they use, like, premium flour. They infuse theirs with liquid diamonds. Um, everything's on the inside. Like, I just really don't know how they're getting them these tasty. Now, I'll tell you one thing about Jeter. Them motherfucking Jeter Cannons? Them shits are fire. We'll do one of them soon on this on this uh, episode, one of these Token with Tommy episodes. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for that Jeter Canyon Canon. That shit's fucking fire because they don't fuck around with any of this shit. That shit's premium flower too. You can tell. But anyway, I'm gonna give this. Uh, I gotta give it two tokes up. I'm high. It tastes good. It burns properly. I mean, shit, it's hitting all the criteria. So I, I don't know. But anyway, until next time. You guys have a great safe one. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.